All right, Shalom Rastafari. Greetings in the name of His Imperial Majesty and His Christ, the Moshiach, Yeshua. Uh, greetings, brothers and sisters. Salam tonight. And I is telling. Dinos Tefari Neng. This is Wendem Yadon of the Lion of Judah Society of His Imperial Majesty. And we're currently broadcasting on, I think, uh, Onet still, or Ethiopian World Net. But in case of emergency, and just make a note of this, so if the time should come, because of the haters, the overs, and if it be in the will of our Father, we will be broadcasting on Ethiopian World Net um, 911. So just type in 911 and also on Rastafari Sabbatical. So there'll be a kind of a, a dual um, posting also on the Rastafari Sabbatical. All right, so stay tuned there. Some things we might put up there or we'll refer you to um, one of the other sites <clears throat> as well. All right, and those brothers and sisters who want to partake um, in broadcasting or posting, feel free. You can communicate, contact I and I. And um, if you're not immediately responded to, please be patient and, you know, just send a reminder um, or, you know, a comment perhaps on the page just directing our attention as a comment. And, you know, when we have an opportunity to check up on that because um, um, the harvest is ready, as the word says, the living word, Adonai, Adonenu. Yehoshua, Hamushia, but the laborers are few. So it's it's in these studies and, and teaching, the readings and the feedings, but it's mainly through I and I faith. All right. There's a um uh uh a lecture we did actually earlier before this, prior to this, and it'll probably be posted afterward and hopefully we'll be able to post it soon. We're probably gonna um touch on th this this older form of, of broadcasting where it's the audio part and we might use a still or we might use um um as it is um the moving pictures you know what I'm saying or rather you know the different still pictures to, to, to broadcast. Um it's it's a pretty pleasant day. We give thanks and praise um up here um in this uh, um, spiritual Egypt as it is um, but we really give thanks and praise because um, we're in the Sukkot right the the tabernacles season um, for 2012 and this is um, the Shabbat the Senbet Ken it is the the uh, 6th of October and in this particular season, since it's according to the Be'alat, the um, Moedim of Ha Elohim Baruchu, that um, Sukkot, which is a memorial, we touched on it in previous postings, um, previous videos. Um, some don't really receive these things, but hopefully you brothers and sisters do because there's a significance for it. We as the once lost but now found Beta Israel. And, and and we as Mesahawian um, or those who walk in the way, the truth, and the life of the true Jesus Christ. Now, some get confused by the confusion. You know what I'm saying? And we, and we pray and we hope better of you all. And we will do our part um, to also um, try to inform these who are uninformed. If, if they have a love of the truth. You understand the love of the truth that they might be um, saved and delivered from themselves. You understand, and this evil, this evil world. So let's go forward in this particular sabbatical um, reading and uh, reading and feeding. Now, if you check the daily psalms, and we, we we haven't done this previously, but if you check the daily psalms. The daily psalms, um, because that's a level of teaching, that's a level of daily discipline. And if you need any of those resources, please feel free to go to lojsociety.org, click on the resources link, and that'll take you to the study page. And some of these documents, like the um, Sabbath house reading and feeding, so you can 
um, know exactly where we're at, you understand, for this particular Ba'alat. So we have one more day for this memorial. Well, of course, you know that in this exile, right, in this exile, remember this is a, a memorial for when we um, return to the land, right, turn to the land. Now, there's a spiritual level of it that we need to receive first and foremost. This is what we have to understand. And this is what the Lord Sheeple, um, many of us have failed to overstand as we have um, humbled ourselves to do his will. We now are better overstanding, you understand, of the way of the King of Kings and his Christ and how he has prepared all of this. Abba has prepared it all for us. But it's for our um, hearing of the word, the Shema, right, and the reading and the, and the study of it and, and, and the and the investing in it, really putting the investment of the word in our consciousness, our, our heads and our heart. And then the meditation upon that word. Then as we fellowship with one another, we, we see the living word revealed within ourselves, within the testimonies of our brothers and sisters of faith. And many of us are fully persuaded of it, while there's others out there that have been dabbling with different sort of doctrines right mm. and many of them get off ended when we do not um, you know run with them in that sort of um, um, dissipation right dissipation you know we don't run with them in those sort of things but if we look at the daily psalms if I'm correct there's a psalm for the for the uh, for the Shabbat day and uh, I think it's the 24th Psalm. In fact, if you have the Metzaf Kedus in the language and if you have the, you know, basic Nebabate skills and you look at Psalm 24, right? Let's turn to Psalm 24. So we have the Tehillim. Yeah, we're going to turn to Tehillim, right? And the, the Hebrew, the Ibraist, uh, Kwan Kwa. Right, and this is Psalm 24, and then we're also gonna pull up the um, the Amharic of the same, right? And uh, let's get this right here, all right. And so, Psalm 24, Balmarinya and the Metzhav Kedus of Nagusa Neges, and uh, uh, Psalm Mezmur, 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 um. Bamarinya, it is uh, it is Haya sourced. And it was twenty three. But then Bekinf Wist in the parentheses it's Haya Arat. So if you if you're coming from the Western perspective, right, even with the daily psalms, and you have a a copy of the chart and to heal up uh, was it sister it was sister Naya, Empress Naya? Tege Naya had did also wonderful work um, in um, compiling the daily psalms within a chart I think a, a word Excel chart and we have other forms of it and if anyone is creative and, and maybe has a, a another you know another kind of a, a chart as well that would be good now if you look at it says 92 right Psalm 92 right Psalm 92. So let's just turn to Psalm 92 for one moment. Let's turn to Psalm 92, um, which would actually be now when we understand even how the numbering, which is a, a kind of a teaching on that as well. Mesmor um, Zetena Zetena and Zetena Hulet Zetena and Zetena Hulet Bekinf Wist in the in parentheses. It's 92. Now, I know ones are still studying the Fidels, and then we have within the Metzav Kedus of Negus and Neges, we have our ciphers, our achaz. They're called achaz in these particular ciphers, um, numbers. So we, we, hopefully, y'all will, and we'll have an opportunity to, um, even this is also appealed to uh, Sister uh, um, Sister Kedist, um, Sister Kedist uh, 
on the Ethiopian World Net. We, we love the work that she does with making it simple, more digestible um, for one of the English, the Amharic, and we like to fellowship within that ministry together as well. well we already are fellowshipping in spirit, but perhaps we can also work together on certain um, ministry projects to really get the word out to the brothers and sisters who are willing. So those who have a link or connection, just heal her up for I and I. We send our salamtas in the name of the King of Kings, Kadamawi Haile Selassie, and send a fraternal shalom, ras tefari. So here we have Psalm 92 in the, in the parentheses, which according to the English chart, right? So really what we do as a personal practice is we would chant actually two psalms. So we would look at... First of all, the one in parentheses when we're using the English um, chart, the, the daily psalms chart. And then we will read both of them because the next psalm is also 92. Now what's interesting when we look at the subscription, Baumarinya says, Besen bet ken, on the Sabbath day, ye miskana mezmur. Ye miskana mezmur. So remember that Sukkot is a time of our refreshing is a time of our joy because judgment has has passed the yom kippur yom kippurim but really for i and i in the moshiach it's because of the moshiach yeshua you know it's because of getachinam and hanatachin yesus christos that judgment has passed right for i and i right and if ones need a uh uh, a, a scripture on that, a verse, and if one's asked for a verse, well, you know, this is how we become verse, and you know, we got to study. Sometimes we're on point, sometimes we're off of point, and we have to get back on point again. And iron sharpen iron. You over. So if we would need a psalm, uh, not a psalm, but a verse, actually, the verse right here um, is actually Romans chapter chapter 8 and it's very important for us to understand even in this uh spiritual but menfasawi um metasebia of sukkot because we're not building the das baal we're not bil building the sukkot and we're not tabernacling in those sukkots but if you um pay attention to um the subcut and the sermons that we have dealt with this year 2012 on sukkot we sought to make that more clear as the Holy Spirit made that more clear to us. So this particular um, sabbatical um, Hamsa sauce, the 53, is called Adim Tu. Bamarinya Nemet Av Kedus of Negusa Neges. And it's called Ha Atinu, Ha Azinu, Ha Azinu, Ha Azinu. Bamarinya, Bamarinya, Be Amarinya, Adim Tu. Right, Adim to which means to, to not just to hear, because uh, Mesmat Semma, Shema means to hear. This means to listen attentively. Adim to listen carefully. You know, and not just to hear. You know, but this is to listen attentively. So as we study the roots of our language, we begin to understand the real spiritual. Um, abstractions and, and 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 the fact that many have gone before us and have overstood. You know, there's a common um, misunderstanding um, that the people of the past, oh, they didn't know all that we know because they didn't have the science and technology. Now we're learning even more. At least we have evidence of it. We've learned it, but now we have evidential proof of it. That the thing that was is the thing that is, you know what I mean? And, 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 and the only new things really are those new things in our Lord and Savior and through our black Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMoshiach. Let me do this. It's a little, got a nice pleasant wind and everything. But um, the Itan, the Itan, you know? Mm -hmm. That's to say the Aishans, the Aishans, all right? So um, in moving forward, now we have a psalm here. We're pointing out the daily psalm because we're seeking to point out these disciplines because it's very important for us to be in that discipline. You understand? So from Shabbat to Shabbat, it's like we check ourselves with Abba and we say, well, Abba, in the name and authority of, of, of Geetai Yesus, how am I and I and I doing? So how you doing? 
You know what I'm saying? How you doing, brothers and sisters? How's everything? You understand? Know How are we growing? You understand? Know in the word and in the way of Yeshua HaMoshiach. So when you go to the same page, lojsociety.org, and you click on the um, resource center, which is links you with the study page, there's a couple of three-fold documents there, right? Double-sided, um, eight and a half by 11, three-fold documents. One of them is the invitation, and the other one is the mekuteria, right? The mekuteria in brief, right? The, mek the mekuteria in brief. If you look at the mekuteria in brief, right? As well as, well, let's look at the invitation first. First would come the invitation. Now, for those brothers and sisters in other regions and in other areas, other camps, that also seek to um, co-labor in this ministry of Moa Anbesa, Zaim Negeda Yehuda of the Conquering Line, the tribe of Judah, society, the Machiber, the aggregation, Yehovah's, um, it'll be good to um, just make a brief investment, say, in the invitation. And I think we had, um, in posting up there, we left a, a blank space underneath, I think, um, the main website where ones can, you know, as they pass it out to ones and share it with ones, can, you know, write their information and link, you know, information in the different areas or they can get a stamp, depends on how organized the units are in those particular areas and can, you know, go to like say a, a Kinko's or somewhere else and print out double side, um, double sided, um, I say a hundred of them, fold them and have them for, you know, ones who um ask and or ones whom the spirit, um, the Holy Spirit, the Ruaha Kodesh moves the eye to share with them. This is not to it's not to make proselytes, proselytes or whatnot, but for those whom, I mean, Hawari of Aulos, he, 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 he said it very, very well in his epistle, his general epistle one, um, first epistle of Peter three, verse um, uh, um, 15, it says, but sanctify, that means make um, yetek edese, make holy. Holy means, kedus means set apart. Remember the Shabbat, the Senbet, to keep it set apart, to sanctify the Lord God. But actually, we're not dealing with um, the Baal God, not the Baal God, no. But it is the Adonai Yeshua, the Adonai Elohim, the Gita Egeziah in your heart, in your heart, right? And be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope or the expectation that is in you with meekness and fear, with meekness and reverence. So now notice the order right there. We're going to touch on this uh, sabbatical. Remember, we're in the Sukkot season, in the tabernacle season, and we've been tabernacling in this word and in Yeshua the living the living word all right the living word which is verified and affirmed to us by our namesake by Kedamawi Chayla Selase and by his utterances so anything else that's apart from that is is false I mean let's just recognize that we're in the gnosis the, yes the gnosis but the gnosis at a at a um not so no pseudonymous but Etamos, right? Etamos or etanomos, right? The, the the gnosis, the knowledge which is which is truly named, and that's the knowledge of the King of Kings and His Christ. Every other kind of little, little, little new Bibles and and other kind of ways and other kind of ideas and other kind of Christ and all the these are going to end you up in crisis, brothers and sisters. Pay, please pay attention. All right, the price of the truth is to pay attention. Because it's here, there, and everywhere, but ones are not paying attention or one are under enemy preoccupation with the world and with worldliness and with the flesh and the fleshy, one's own flesh and other flesh. You know what I'm saying? Bamarinya Darugin, Gitan, Ursum Christos, Belabachu, Kedesut. So we have it clearer here. It says Darugin, but however, on the other hand, Gitan, which is to say in the Shoin Emharic, is to say Adonai, 
Right? Adoni, Adonai, in the Ibrahist Kwankwa. Uh, Arusum, he himself, Christos Belebachu, in your heart. You all, we all have one heart, right? One blood, and that is of the Christ of his majesty, of Yeshua, our Lord and Savior. Kedesut, sanctify him. You all, we are all to sanctify him. You understand it was set him, he is set apart. He is kedus, he is holy. The meaning of holy is to be set apart. Be'inante selale tesfa in you all. Be'inante selale, that which you have tesfa, the hope or the expectation, the tesfa, mikniyatin, the reason. Lemiyateyakuachu. For those who act you all, hulu, all of you, melis, right, melis, right, le mestet, to give an answer, zawater, zawater, always, continually, yete zegajachu, yete zegajachu, right, hunu, yete zegajachu, hunu, yete zegachu. Right, it is a God Jachu Hunu. Be you all ready. It is a God Jachu Hunu. Be ready. That's like simplify. Always prepared. Always ready. Hunu. Be right. Neger again. However, on the other hand, yeah, Wahinetina before the to Yehun, but but on the other hand, in a uh, humility, each of you in 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 in, in humbleness and in, in humility, and in reverence. Be you know saying may, may may it be in that in that meekness or that that um, I say humility, but meekness. Yewahinet be yewahinet na beferhat, and in that reverence. Now in the Schofield um, Study Bible, Psalm 19, the footer there, speaks on the fear. The fear of the Lord is that reverential trust. We trust Kedamawi Haila Selassie. Not any of these guys or gals or bread drain or sis train or whatever that might, like they say, spit a good game. You know what I'm saying? Or, or, you know, they may say this and they might be sincere in that, but they might be sincerely wrong if it doesn't agree with the King of Kings. Adamawi Haila Salase. Negrigin be ye wahinetina be farhat and in reverence. So a reverence you trust, as well as a hatred of evil. That is to say in the gospel, the Wengil of Nagusa Nagast of Kedus Abatachin. That is what his majesty says when he says, Make your um make our wills obedient to good influences and to avoid avoid evil kufu. That which speaks against Negus and Neges is when girl. You understand? In whoever mouth it may be. Even if it's an I and I own mouth. That is, if it's against the simplicity, the clearness, and, 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 and the true teaching, the true spirit of the word. Like many of these other ones out there. And we really are, are cautious and we love you brothers and sisters. But some of y'all are going after the little easy ways of saying you don't have to study. You don't have to get an etymology. You know saying you don't have to learn the hymenot or tawahido, and they're leading you astray. And many of them might not even know this themselves. That's why it says in the next verse of Kutera Asara Sedist of First Peter of Andenya of Petros Petros Melikit. It says, "Be Christos Yaluin Melkamun Nuroachuhun." You mean Sadabu Sawocha Kufun in the Mitadergu Bemiya Mubet Bemiya Mubet Neger in the Yafru Bego Helena Yenorachu having a good conscience that whereas they speak evil of you as they speak evil of I and I and in a Ras Yadinos Teferi because we rebuke them we say listen what you're saying right there does not agree with his majesty's teaching. And you really need to stop doing that. In grace and in love, I and I say this. And so they speak evil. 
All right, they speak evil. Oh, he may speak Amharic and he may speak about his majesty's Bible, but his majesty said the word is one and the same no matter what. And they are robbing you of your inheritance. And in fact, they're robbing themselves. But see, like I said, a lot of ones have been taken captive by Diablos. You understand? To do his will. You understand? And it's very clear and evident if you would say, well, what does his majesty teach and what do they teach? What is his majesty's utterance and what is their utterance? What are they advising and what is his majesty advises? And therefore, you'll recognize that if you take the name of Rastafari in spirit and in truth. Mm -hmm. Remember, we're in the time of grace. But that time of grace is closing because we're coming into a time of judgment. So we learn something from even our Moedim of Yahweh Elohim, of Eloheinu. We learn some very important foundationals, right? I mean, this is what's so very interesting as we, as we study these things and then get to understand prophecy, the proper interpretation, and recognize why the word says that the law is our schoolmaster. Now, until Christ be born in us, until Christ become in us, until we come into that um, oneness, until our mescal, our cross aligns with his cross in spirit and in truth, right? So although they may speak evil of us and, and they play hate games on us, you know what I'm Like with this website, if it gets to be aired on Ethiopian World Net, or whether on Ethiopian World Net 911 or the Rastafari Sabbatical or any of the other brother and sister sites out there, you understand? They speak evil of us. But see, we don't we don't fret that or frustrate that because we're seeking to be rounded and grounded on, on the rock, on the Rastafari order. The Rastafari order, which is the after the order of Melchizedek, of the Church of Christos, of the Church of the Beta Christian of the Mashiach, of the Moshiach, Yeshua. So they may speak evil of I and I as of evildoers, like they should speak of evildoers, but they don't. But of I and I, right? They may be ashamed, right? That falsely accuse your and I and I and I good conversation, right? Of I and I good conversation. Our good man, a Melkamun, a Nuro Achehun, that they speak evil of. Our good conversation in Christos. Kutara, Asara, Asara, Sabbat. And here it says, Bamarinya, according to Metz of Kedus of Negus and Neges, here it says, Ye Egezi Abi Herfekat, in D, in D, Behon. Kofu Selamada Reg Asai Hon Bego Selamada Reg Mekran Bitik Ebalu Ye Shalat Chalina for it is better Ye Shalat Ye Shalat Chalina for it is better if the will of God if the will of Abba so be so right that ye and that we suffer for well doing than for evil doing you know what I'm saying? So if we're suffering for well-doing, it's to our account, right? Because verse Asara uh, Cement, verse 18 of uh, Petros, uh, first Peter, and then you have Petros, Melikita, Miraf, Sost, chapter 3, first Peter, chapter 3, verse 18, it says, Christos, the Mushi, the Mushi, right? The Mushiach, if you will, and uh, Christos, the anointed, not just the smeared one. Some say it just means smeared because they, it's all Greek to them. They need to go deeper within the real language. We spoke that language back in those times. Our ancestors, like many of us, speak this language. You're going on the etymology. We understand the nuances, word, sound, and power, right? So don't have one just dumb down what should be your real edification in Christos. Christos degmo oda egeziavi herendia kerben. For Christos, the Moshiach, the anointed, also hath once, once, right? And Gizeh. And Gizeh once suffered for 
It says in your Bibles or in the King James, the kindergarten Judah version, this is the basic level. You understand? B.S. Look good children. Yeshua says that. You understand? He suffered for sin. But in your Bible it says sins. It says it's been chatiyat mikniyat moto alena. Right? The, 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 or died actually, right? For the just, the just for the unjust. The, the tzaddik, right? The, the tzaddik asila ametenyoch. Angize bachatiyat mikniyat moto alena. Right? Being put to death, right? Being put to death in the flesh. Rastafari, I and I not want no car, no mind. Right? We don't want no car, no mind. No car, no mind. Isn't that how the bingy chant? Right? No car, no mind. But siga morte. Morte. Right? Moto. You know what I'm saying? Morte. But siga morte. But manifest again. However, in spirit, but quicken. Right? Quicken means to um, be caused to, 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 to be live. Live. Now it's it's very interesting. In fact, uh, we have the Gutters, um, um, um New Testament, and this is one that we have to actually publish. I had opened it up on the side right here, and, and speaking about the um, the name um, um, Yahweh, because many say, oh, we say Yahweh, and they're trying to tell us that is this, is that, is the next thing, and they don't have any primary sources, you know, other than the same ones who they call this and that and the next thing now we're not saying that they're not the ones they call those things they're not that but then they speak evil of i and i as as evil doers so so petros peter you understand he is really guiding i and i you understand within this overstanding right here but on the the name the name of yahweh if you were to study it from the ethiopic root and the ethiopic sources it is very interesting because we have the life giver. In fact, this is only preserved in the Ethiopic root. This is what's very interesting. I mean, in the Ethiopic root, ones will say, well, no, the original language was Hebrew, so forth and so on. Um, we're not going to say it wasn't, but what form of he It wasn't Babylonian Hebrew. Let's, let's put it like that. And we don't want get to get into that particular level at this time. What we want to do is speak about the victor, the vicarious the vicarious suffering of the Moshiach, which was preached by Christ, preached by the Moshiach, by Adonai, through the Spirit in Noah, in the Ankh, the Ankh, the Noah. That's why it symbolizes life, but something was lost. You understand? And now this kind of leads into the whole spiritual warfare and 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 when we look into the ancient times a lot of what we get bits and bites um you know um splitters and splatters of here and there but if we would first of all go to the root and go to the truth let's go to verse 18 now this is um right this is this is the 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 um the good is basically says for that part it says a morte besiga where hayue the hayue like we say yahweh where hayue that means the one who lives who is the life giver who is the living one where hayue be menfes where hayue be menfes now Ethiopic grammar um is also a, a, a very important reference source for us. As we get to the root of it, we'll recognize that even the, the, the Jews, the European Jews, have reconstructed what they call Hebrew, but that was based on their study of the Falasha, the Beta Israel, and the study of the Ethiopic. But they don't like to admit that, but there's a lot of um, um, tells, and there's a lot of evidence there as well. But not to go too far off of this, because we still want to get into um, um, Ha'azinu, or Ha'azinu, right? Or Adimtu, which is this particular Torah portion for this Shabbat, the 53rd Shabbat. But the Holy Spirit has led us and guided us right here to help to strengthen the brothers and sisters in their walk and also to caution them about false doctrine and false teachings that are creeping in amongst Rastafari. All right, and we need to be aware. Give us a teaching of His Majesty. Kawi na want no devil's philosophy. Kutara asara zeteng, verse 19 of Andenya Yepet Rosa Melikit. 
እንደሚለው በእርሱም ደግሞ ሄዶ በወክኒ ለነብሩ ለነብሩ ነፍሳት ሰበከላቾ by which also he went and preached to the spirits in prison whoa the spirits in prison what is this all about the spirits in prison remember we are in the sukkot season right this is the sukkot season in fact um the 53rd is usually read in in orthodox judaism between rosh hashana and sukkot or ras asana ras hasana and sukkot Now Ras Hasana is the trumpet is the Yom Teruah the blowing of the trumpet right and then we have Yom Kippur you know we have the 10 days of awe after Rosh Hashanah and we have um um or well, after yeah after Rosh Hashanah the 10 days of awe then on the 9th the eve then we have Yom Kippur you understand which is the day of atonement or atonement before in the old testament it was just kippur it was the covering but in the hadith kidan in yeshua ha moshi our black lord and savior it's not just the covering but it's at one meant so the cross that we carry as we deny ourselves carry our cross right and follow yeshua ha moshi as we as we um work out our salvation as the as the epistle writer howari up allo shaul mentions to us and we overstand that in spirit and in truth right so we carry that cross you over saying we carry our cross our suffering and we walk in it in him because he is the way the truth and the life you over then we come to that at one meant and it's the grace of yeshua hamoshia that brings us to that at one meant remember many are called few are chosen that those who are first you know saying the last shall be first and the first shall be last so we as rastafari we appear to be in this whole religion and spirituality thing we are the last but yet in the new the this the age to come the age of the king of kings and his christ we are first mhm mm so there's a significant word here where it says in verse 19 ba arsum de gmo hedo ba wakhni la nabru nafsat sabakalacho by which also he went and preached to the spirits in prison What spirits are these in prison? This is that counterfeit spirituality, that gnosis pseudonymous, that falsely called Gnosticism. Falsely, see, there's a true. The true gnosis is of the King of Kings and His Christ. So there's the revelation. Re'e eneho behold. Kuter haya verse twenty. It says, "Tik itoch malet cementa nefs be wucha ye danu bet merkeba si azagaj." Ye egziavi hera tigist be noch zemin be koye gizeik edmo ala tazizu, which sometime were disobedient, these spirits in prison. Mm -hmm. See, they're going to be let loose. We already see the partial letting, breaking gates, doing all sort of irregular spiritual, all the type of activities and demonic entities. have already entered into this space in a in a heavier way and that's why people say wow why so much wickedness and bloodshed you understand which sometimes were disobedient these are the disobedient spirit the fallen angels and the philian right when once the long suffering of egziavi her lotus subhat sustainer waited in the days of noch it waited just like it's waiting in these days it says as it was in the days of noch so shall it be right in the regeneration of the son of man in rastafari in these days and times so the 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 god is long suffering ja is long suffering ya is long suffering abba is long suffering he's waiting waiting for what waiting for i nine to well, well let's read on it says while the ark right while the apostles of rastafari knowledge while the ark the tabot the ark of the covenant was a uh, preparing while it was preparing it's waiting right wherein few that is eight souls were saved by wukha by wukha yadanu bet eight souls were saved by adonai right um kutara haya haya and yihim wukha dagmo malet 
ጥምቀት ምሳሌው ሆኖ አሁን ያድነናል አሁን ያድነናል ያድነናል it says the like figure where to even baptism the like figure the misaling the parable even you can call it a myth so they call it a myth but you have to ask yourself why are ones and ones who are even opposers are working so hard to fulfill that so called myth see the like figure where to even baptism so then it was the water of the flood now it is the spiritual baptism now let's understand that spiritual baptism yes you can go get baptized in the orthodox church but at least you know study and learn you know what it is right doth also now save us but but notice what it says back in wist in the parentheses mm -hmm. it says not the putting away of the filth of the flesh yes so natin idif masuged idelem it's not just the putting off it's not just bathing or just going in the symbolic water baptism as in the professing church as the professing church but it's that true church within the professing church of which the bahitawi right they are the levites and the debtoras the debtora watch right they are the the kohen right and we come into that in the king of kings and through his christ in the true order of melchizedek so it's not the putting away of the filth of the flesh but what is it it says but gin the answer of a good conscience toward god and who is god god you could say his majesty but recognize the spirit of truth so are you in the spirit of truth do you have a good conscience mhm le egziabi her ye bego helina limena no inji ye him be jesus christos tin sae no tin sae no by the resurrection right by the resurrection of Jesus Christos remember he says i will have a new name christ in his kingly character overs kutara haya hulet 22 right like the alpha omega to fulfill this right here it says arusu malaiktina silat anat khailatim kata gazuleta bkhala ode samai hedo who is gone into heaven right who's gone into heaven Yeshua HaMoshiach and is on the what right hand of God is on the right hand of of Yahweh of capital L-O-R-D in your Bibles remember we was talking about a little bit about Psalm um, 110 right and also about the um 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 revelation pi right the revelation pi or phi the amen 314 right 314 um and we, we got to let's look this up because there's pi and this phi right there's 314 and there's also the i think the point 613 let's overstand that as well who has gone into heaven and who is on the right hand of God. Remember, it's the Abba, the Father, that has said to the Son that he will make all the enemies the Son Adonai's footstool. Remember that. So, with us seeing the visitation of Kedamawi, Haile Selassie, or the Spirit of God in the person of Rastafari, that man-child who was snatched up to God and to his throne, the throne of God, the throne of Yahweh, is the throne of david the scripture explains that and it's a throne that was established on earth why because this is part of the wonderful plan of the king of kings and his christ that he already planned his throne on earth you understand to do what to fulfill this final time that we are in now let's understand that angels and authorities and powers being made subject you understand that means they they are subject to him so all this kind, of, this is why they always try to remove Yeshua HaMoshiach. This is why when one say Yeshua HaMoshiach never existed, or if you say, they say Jesus, or, or Jesus, they say not Jesus, you say uh, Yeshua, you know what I'm saying? They say not Yeshua, you say Yehoshua, you say, um, well, well, he didn't exist. Well, I'm talking about Old Testament, that, that didn't exist either. None of it existed. That's, that's Satan, you know what I'm saying? So you have to bind that up 
in the name, the authority, and the blood of Yeshua HaMoshiach. Bind them up. You have authority in the new birth. Repentance to the new birth. You have authority because as, as he is, so are we in the world. So are we in the seclorum. So we see right here that upon ascension in the time of the first century Hawariyat, that he ascended to the right hand. Now in Revelation, which is telling us things that were to come to pass, he is now seated upon the throne. So this explains when he say, well, who did his majesty pray to? You understand? One say, well, if you say it's God, well, who did he pray to? The Father and the Son communicate in the Ruach HaKodesh. Let's overstand the Judaic, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, Selassie, the Trinity, or the Jewish Trinity, if you will. So we, we, we touch on this right here. This is almost like a continuation of... Um, what we had recorded from earlier because it's important for us to understand as before we even get into um hazinu or adimtu the the hamsa uh, sostenyao um 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 senbet portion the sabbatical portion um hazinu which is the 53rd weekly torah portion the parasha and the annual judaic or jewish cycle of the torah reading and it's the 10th in the book of Deuteronomy, the Orita Zedagim, right, um, Devarim, it constitutes Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 1, to Deuteronomy chapter, same chapter, verse 52. Now, we as Yehuda, even as, uh, say, black Jews or Ethiopian Hebrews, Beta Israel, elect Rastafari, and the righteous, even amongst the Gentiles in the diaspora, we read it on a Sabbath, a Shabbat, right? Between the holy days of Rosh Hashanah and Sukkot. And this is that. This is the sixth, remember, it's from the 30th of September to October 6th, October 7th, you could have turned, eh? October 7th, uh, 2012. And this is the, the 6th of October. So we're in right time. Generally in September or October. Now, I so said that this part of Shez sets out the Song of Moses. Now, what is the Song of Moses? Now, we did our rendition of it, Bamarinya, and you can check it out on, I think, on this site as well. Right? Um, the Song of Moses, because it's a new song, right? Revelation talks about the Song of Moses, too. So let's recognize the fulfillment, right? It's an indictment. This is an indictment of the Beta Israel Chatiyat. The indictment of the Beta Israel. And we're speaking about the, the, the true Jews, right? Or the Beta Israel, the black Jews, um, black Hebrew Israelites, the Ethiopian Hebrews, the Falashas in the east, the west, the north, the south. You overstand Africa, America, India, Europe, all over the world, South America. Let's not forget any continent you overstand as well. It's an indictment of the Beta Israel sin. It's a prophecy of their punishment, the end of the curses, right? Um, 1619 to what? 2019, 2012, or 2020? Good vision. We need a good vision, right? A prophecy of their punishment and a promise, a tesfa, of Ha Elohim's ultimate redemption of them. Now, you need to check out, and we haven't published it just yet, but the Rastafari Ethiopic Kabbalah of His Majesty. Right, that's going to be an introduction there, as well as the uh, the Revelation Pi um, uh, Amen uh, three fourteen Revelation uh, three fourteen. You need to check that out. Um, look forward um, for it. We're just giving you a heads up right now. Now the bulk of the parasha of this portion, the the song of Deuteronomy chapter thirty two verses one to forty three, appear in the Torah scroll in a distinctive two column format when you look in the Torah the modern um the Babylonian Torah that is the Masoretic right it reflects the poetic structure of the text where in each line and an opening colon is matched by a second parallel thought unit the beginning of the Parsha Ha'azinu um, Deuteronomy chapter 32 verses 1 to 4 as it appears as it appears in the Torah scroll. So the summary of this Torah portion, right? Because we're gonna get into it a little bit deeper, but this is this is to speak to both the, the high holy day or the high um, holiday, 
right? These seven days of tabernacle for us it's a it's a thinking about a thought about in the understanding of what is tabernacles, what does it mean? And as we said for this year, we posted a couple of uh, vids on that on the Ethiopian World Net as well as on the Rastafari Sabbatical, just to give one's a groundation, a foundation for the Dek Amezamorit for the disciples so please check that out because otherwise you won't understand what this means you're going to read this as though it's an indictment and it was an indictment until the coming of Yeshua HaMoshiach after the 5,500 years let's recognize that let's understand that so if the, the scripture that we're going to give you earlier was Romans chapter 8 verse 1 there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christos Jesus, those who are in the Moshiach, Yeshua, hallelujah, praise ye Yah, who walk not after the flesh, Rastafari, I and I now want no car, no mind, right, that's the chant, let's overstand it, you see, you can't overstand the real meaning of the chant, nor can you operate in the action to overcome that, one's chanting and still fall to the flesh, because they're not receiving his majesty's good news, his word, you understand? Not repenting, not being born again in spirit and in truth. So where it says that there is therefore now no condemnation. You see, for us, Sukkot is, is, is rejoicing. You understand? It's a time of rejoicing. In fact, some of the um, Jews say that Sukkot comes as a recharging of our spiritual batteries. Right? It's a recharging of our spiritual batteries we have now I and I have now passed the days of judgment now this is both on the individual level for the individual I as well as for I and I as the Beta Israel the black Hebrews the Ethiopian Hebrews we've passed that 400 plus year right but see this word is necessary you saying to come into the reach the rate of atmosphere in spirit and in truth to release those things. We have acknowledged that Ha Elohim, that Abba, is our supreme ruler and chief commander, even the King of Kings. Negusa Neges Ze Ethiopia. Now we, I and I, are out to prove, right, that this is indeed not just lip service. So see, this is preparing us. This is the end of one cycle and the beginning of a next, but we have to understand in what context. Otherwise, you're left with nonsense. You can't make sense out of it. There's no sense. None. None. Right? Now I and I are out to prove that this is indeed not just lip service. Yes, I. I, I. Right, 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 right. But it's a true and a firm imminent. The subjective while we behold the objective, the amen. Right? The amen. Revelation 3.14. The true and living Christ. Because, listen. Death reigned from Adam to Moses. Why does it say that in the scripture? Find out what that means. Now, this affirmation of our imnet, our hymenot, yachai, yachai, jaliv, jaliv, children, yeah. Also check out um, 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 Jeremiah chapter 23. Because in the Passover coming forward, it's important that we don't focus on it as though this is the Passover out of old Egypt. But out of the spiritual Egypt, out of the north country. This is why we have to prepare even from now. Over, over, overstand that? Um, Y'all willing more to come on that. But this is our firm imnet. Imnetachin is manifest only in one method. And that is in, 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 in some say concrete action. But I check out those words, concrete, right? But what did we um, read and, and feed on was uh, Second Corinthians, part of the same lecture series I pointed out um, to you just early that hasn't been posted just yet. Um, but we touched on Second uh, Corinthians, right? Second Corinthians. Let's take a look at Second Corinthians right here, and we're not going to go through it all again. But we're seeing even the amazing revelation as we are recording and ministering on this right now that some say concrete action but more in Christos the Moshiach Paul gives an example in the second epistle of of Paul the Hawaria right to the 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 Corinto Sawoch the 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 men of Corinth in in the church of God and it's the principles of action what are the principles of action we need to understand the principles of action 
because in the basic template, the the modern Jews, the Torah Jews, they have it right, except they they neglect the key, Yeshua. You're saying they search the scriptures and they think they have eternal life, but they miss our Black Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMoshiach. You understand? They have to receive that so they can fulfill Revelation three and nine. Overstand that as well. So, not to go over that ground, cover that ground again, but just to affirm that that the 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 judgment has passed for the Beit Israel, the fifty-eight curses, right? The fifty-eight curses that we find in the Scripture for the lost, once lost, but now found Beit Israel. And we look at why black people, why, 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 why? Why, yo, why, yo, why, yo? Why are we going through this? And look at Ethiopia. Look, what's, she's also, her judgment time is also coming to the days of passing as well. You know, since among those who have received it, they have to recognize how important it is for them to get this word in on the innermost of the inner and to put it out. Let's understand what this time, what the reason for the season, right, really, really is. All right, so that's the scripture. We wanted to give you a scripture on that. We pointed out from the top of this, the Mekutaria, some of the discipleship basics that we can learn. I mean, this is, I mean, this is a wonderful. It's like we've read certain areas of the scripture. We knew it. If you ask us, we link a key word, whatever, on that sort of a level. But it was almost like academic. It was all basic academic. Now it's Menfasawi. Now it's truly coming to that level of, of spirituality. And we can see, you understand this, with our spiritual eye, not just our physical eye. So um, so where we at? So here we at, right? Now, if you look at the daily practice, right, um, uh, to become one, at one, to unite, the Tuwahedo in H-I-M is Imperial Majesty, in Christos, in Christ, which is in the invitation. Come unto I, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, I will give you rest, his majesty says. Who can resist an invitation so full of compassion? Only a fool. Especially if they say Rastafari or Rasta ish, whatever like that, and they hear this and they ignore it. They should should go into their quiet place and really meditate on this word. Right? Now, first we have like five the, the number five has been revealed to us as the number of grace and we see a lot of things in their fiveness even mr five by five they're mystified by mr five by five by Kedamawi Haila Selassie first is to daily study right daily study spend time see if you don't have time for the study you don't have time to be blessed and you can't be blessed apart from his word and the spirit and the truth you could bless up you could bless down you could bless the left or the right and you could bless all around you understand? That's just words. You understand? That's a word. That's kalat. But it's not in the kal, right? It's not in the word, right? The logos, the living word. So the daily study and the reading of the Bible. And for those who are under Darajah, His Imperial Majesties, the Metaf Kedus, the Revised Amharic Bible, or now the Rastafari Amharic Bible, or we abbreviate the Rab, right? The Rab, right? Um, secondarily, it's the... Um, the the daily prayer, daily our salot, the zawatira salot, and Davidic worship or praise rule, dekam is amorit, the study of the daily psalms, right? The Tawahido daily guide. Thirdly, to daily partake of the Holy Eucharist. Now, when we say the Eucharist, we're saying it in its etymological truth. You understand? And that is you. You means in the Greek, it means good. And the charis mean the good grace. His good grace is to be in his good grace. We're not talking about the Roman Catholic Church or any of these so-called professing churches. Or Remember, the church age comes to the, a done time too with the Gentile world dominion. Because Christ says he's going to build his own church. And that's I and I, Rastafari. We are that rock. Let's recognize it and never forget it. The sacrament, the injera and the tej, as well as the burnt offering. The Isla herb, the Kana Besim, or the Kana Bosim, the Kana Besim Ab, or what it will manifest caduce, and all the faithful say, Ahadu Amlak. Fourthly, it's the daily repentance. Now, see, daily repentance is not like the repentance that we first come into, 
You understand? When we finally deny ourselves and get beyond all of our, you know, all of our ways and our astrays and get into his way. But there are, there are things that we have to turn away from, even on a daily basis. You understand? And we take it one day at a time. You understand? Tafach Jesus, right? And confession of sins or of missing the mark or faults, right? Missing of the mark. And this is to stay in that oneness. But it's not the whole guilt trip and all of that. If you receive the true grace, then you should understand it's not. And fifthly, lastly, but definitely not leastly. In fact, it actually should be actually the first when you think about it. But really, first things first is study. Study and show yourself approved. So fifthly, Amistenya Derija is keep the senvet. Really, really to um, remember. When we update this, we're going to put remember the senbet. Because we've said, like a lot of people say, keep the Sabbath. But then the Holy Spirit said, is that what it said there? It said, remember the Sabbath. Remembrance is a thought, is remembering, bringing something to mind again. Right? Again, again. All right? Again and again. And degana and degana. Right? Keep the senbet, which is the Sabbath. But we have to understand, well, when we speak about Sabbath, what do we mean? Yeshua HaMoshiach is our Shabbat. But that does not excuse us from the order. See, he gives us an order. You understand? Because he loves us. He overs, and people try to say, oh, we're free of the law. But then they talk about tithes that come under law. But they say, no, it doesn't come It comes in Torah. And Torah is technically law. See, see they, they should not mess around with these things and misinterpret our brother Hawari Apollos Shaul. Right? The feast and the fast. To keep them kedus. What does kedus set apart? It sounds like a fancy word, and in a sense, it is a beautiful word. But we have to understand what does it mean in real time so we can act according to the principles of action. All right? So those are the holy days, and we say refer to the holy days calendar. And we're still working on that. I mean, we have certain basic calendars, some, some basic overviews, Leviticus chapter 23, and you can consult with even the Judaic on the on the lunar part and the Ethiopic on the solar part you know what I'm saying the loony solar the solar lunar now let's understand that and we've gone into that elsewhere um, as um, the brethren and the sisterin should uh, well know now in moving this forward right and moving this forward right here because there's a couple of things that very interesting we want to actually take the time and just sit back and and just meditate on what the holy spirit has said through i and i as well but let us keep on um that would be selfish in a sense so we we're getting past self that the flesh right uh, the flesh the world and diablos right um but let's understand what it means when it says in romans chapter 8 right and the real key as we mentioned before the real key is in Romans chapter 7, 25. One of the brethren had, I think he wanted to reason with us and we didn't get a chance to reason with him directly. But in the spirit, we could tell what he was asking about. It's like one's want to walk in the spirit, but still see the flesh, still see these, you know, Satan keeps throwing something across your mind to distract you, to try to put you back under enemy occupation and preoccupation and, and guilt trips and everything. Um, as as a as a thanksgiving look at um psalm i mean romans you could tell but it's like a song you can make it a song actually um if you are merry and you're cheerful and happy romans chapter 7 verse 25 which actually comes directly before romans chapter 8 right romans chapter 8 verse 1 and this is for the brothers and sisters who still find themselves struggling you know, with the flesh, the world, and the devil, and 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 and, and they feel like, wow, I'm I'm falling short. Um, I just thought a nasty thought, or I just, you know, wilded out a moment ago. Have I lost my salvation? Because a lot of counterfeit Christianity, you know, teach you a lot of weird things. You understand? They actually teach you a lot of extremist things. Counterfeit Christianity is totally extremist. Either one says that you've lost your faith completely and you're 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 a sinner you you you're done don't come back to the church but you could send tithes and offering you know it's kind of funny stuff they, they they tell you there and then on the other hand they say that once saved always saved and there's nothing ever that you can do so forth and so on you know and that's not really i mean it, it is generally true but there's 
there's some things that the Holy Spirit will, will teach you. That's why you should study and find the truth for your um, for yourself, right? Um, so here we're going to chapter 7, right? This is the word right here. In fact, all these chapters here are very important. And I found time um, to reason with some. And some of the reasonings, I think we were able to record them. Others, if they're not too personal issues or whatnot, and it's mostly preaching and teaching or edit them likewise and put that information out. Excuse me, because a lot of the brothers and sisters need that. They don't have that, um, you know, spiritual, as it were, um, word. So many of them are getting kind of, you know, uh, hoodwinked and bamboozled, as it were, you understand, in ignorance and by these spirits, you know, which have, or which have um, prison break. Let's call that on the spiritual warfare. That's what all that occultic um, obia shop. Santeria and voodoo and actually it's a prison break you, you don't understand that you've become accomplices with these um with these spirits on a certain level you understand but here's the good news Yeshua HaMoshiach to the glory of Abba you understand has a solution you understand the solution is his son the Bain Ha Elohim and it is his way truth and life so verse Kutera um, Haya Amist, it says, Be Jesus Christos be getachen, le ekezia be hermesgana yehun. In gdia, sine, be aemroye, le ekezia be herhug, be sigaye gin, le hat yat hug, egezalo, egezalo. Now, the Turgum, the translation in your Bibles is, I thank God, I thank Yahweh. He who be who he be, his divine majesty, through, through Jesus Christos, our Lord, Adonenu, our black Lord and Savior, our master, our Adonai, our Adone, Adonenu in the Hebrew, Adonenu or our Adonai, right? So then, with the mind, right, I myself, I myself, in a, right? In a rase, but in a be a imroye, right? So then, with the mind or in my mind, the a imro be a imroye in my mind, it says, myself serve, overstand this right here, serve the law of God. Or le is it's in favor of, is inclined to le egziabi her hig to the Torah, to his law. You understand? Because the living law in the new and living way is Yeshua But sigaye again, but in my flesh, right? In the flesh, the old man, right? Le chatiyat hig egezalo. You understand? I am under subjection. I am uh, under that subjection. Now, of course, one will say, well, well, how does that work out? Doesn't that, like, make you go here and there? No. If you focus, and we've actually, pro we, we have that same question that some of y'all may have. You have the same question that we, we, we've we had. You know, it sounds like, well, okay, that sounds good, but how do I act? Because you, you're just thinking about it. You're not acting on it. You see, when you act on it, like what Christ says in um, um, John's uh, Johannes, uh, be Johannes um, Wengel in the Gospel of John, I think it's uh, 717, something like that, 717, yes, John's Gospel 717, if any man will do his will. Does it sound like His Majesty again? Make our wills obedient to good influences, avoid evil, to show the greatest wisdom. In order to follow this aim, Hymenot, all right, to Wahido, if any man will do his will, right, he shall know. And if you look up that word know, it is gnosis, right? Gnosis, which is to say he must become a Gnostic. But not the Gnostic. See, there's two kinds of Gnostics, like there's two kinds of Christians. See, Satan has created that duality, you know what I'm saying, through the sin of Adam, right, through Adam, right, through our ancestor. And whenever we are in that Adam, and we act like a damn fool, you know what I'm saying, in, in relation 
or out of relation to the truth of the word, the spirit, and the truth of the King of Kings and his Christ, and are putting other things, right, other things, other ways of so-called salvation. You understand, like a lot of these other um, um, philosophies, gnosis, pseudonymous kind of philosophies, right, and conspiracies. You understand? They say, well, I'm Rastafari and such and such, but not the Bible, and not Yeshua, and not the Yesus. No, all that is mythology. Yo, you better watch that. I'm talking to the brothers and sisters. See, some of the others, all I say to them is repent. Like, repent. Have a change of mind. You better change that mind. You understand? Because the veil is about to drop. You understand? The veil. I know folks say, what is this veil? The spiritual veil. Some already perceive this. Those people who are spiritual. They can you know, perceive this. I mean, one, some brothers and sisters have even testified that some of them who walk in Yeshua and that faith to Abba, you understand, that ones and ones who are who are of the occultic, so-called the dark side, so-called the ignorant side, even are able to see that light. And they refer to it as light. They want us to turn down our light. You understand, this is why they probably started to flag us, right? You know, with the vids and stuff like that. When you see all those videos, they want to turn down the light. It's too bright. Turn on the light. You understand? No, we delight in the truth and <laughs> the light. You understand? And John says, for I and I to shine and shine on and shine bright. You see what I'm saying? So so that's why they try to, you know, those spirits try to keep you from caught up in yourself, in yourself, in yourself. Right? And, and, and Rasta for I, for you. That's not the meaning of it. Stop lying. Okay, it was fun in kindergarten, but now it's time for us to grow up to him in all things. See, that's for the children, you understand? But these other ones are not Abba's children, you understand? Because if Abba was their Abba, they would be saying hallelujah for the good news, and they will be walking in it, living in it, growing in it, disseminating to other brothers and sisters, you understand? Instead of coming with counterfeit gospels, you understand, and counterfeit you know, trying to counterfeit, you know, um, some teaching and, and call it the teaching of his majesty or what, or it's a new thing that we, it's not really about that and not about the body. You, you, you wish your time. You know what I'm saying? Shut your demonic mouth. You know what I'm saying? In the name of Yeshua HaMoshiach. You know what I'm Remember, you know, from where we come from, we wouldn't have not even said it like that. That's really, really pleasant. You know what I'm saying? You know, like if, if we say that that his majesty, the father's house, is like our our clique to say. You know what I mean? The society of his majesty and his majesty's people and recognize the beta Rastafari, the beta Israel. I mean, we wouldn't even deal it so pleasantly in the Old Testament sense. You understand? I mean, because we recognize it's not really them, but it's, the, it's that which is behind them. You understand? And said, tell the Lucy in the name and the authority in the Sima Gita Jesus Christos. We got to leave here. And we have to overstand we have that spiritual authority. Why do you think the disciples, the first thing they were sent out to do, right, was to cast out those demons out of, out of the Israelitish people? Because a lot of demons in black folks, y'all might not think so. Black people would never do such and such. Maybe at one time. You understand, but you're talking like 40 years. It's been a 40 years in the wilderness. A lot of stuff have gone on. I mean, we have the whole crack baby generation. Just think about it for a moment, right? Think about it. So this portion right here, this Torah portion, when we look at it, right, um, it has uh, four parts. It is one, an indictment. Secondly, it speaks of the punishment. And then thirdly, it speaks of the punishment being restrained, Wow. Being restrained, right? Until the restrainer is taken out of the way. Think about that, right? Thessalonians, right? Um, then it's the parting words. The parting words. Now, this particular Torah portion, we're going to try to see what we can do because we're going to update this with the Aliyah, uh, uh, the Aliyot, right? Because we know that what we have here in the, the five volume series, the Torah portion, reading and feedings of the society, is the we're gonna call this probably the it's the introduction and it's like probably the summary compilation, right? The summary. Then there's an the alio now. They've updated it, right? Um, which is another level that Yah willing will teach on, um, and that will be taught on. And may the Holy Spirit, which teaches us all things, may you receive, 
that that real baptism of the Memphis Caduce. See, see, folks are still getting baptized in the old dirty water. You understand? And that's not bad if that's how you like to bathe. You understand? But it's in the Holy Spirit. Remember the trifoldness of the baptism. Yes, it's the mikveh, right? The mikveh, but the mikveh is a spiritual level of it, Yovas, um, that the Word teaches us. And as we walk in this and we receive it, we have the testimony, you understand, to, 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 to verify this, to verify that truly Abba is true, all right? So this Torah portion is interesting, especially at the time that it comes, you know, in the particular season that it comes. Now, we know that it touches on the Song of Moses, right? That, that's what's very interesting. The Song of Moses is touched on in this Torah portion. So what we're going to do is pause for the cause, right, and then come forward in, in this a little bit more, right, for this... Um, this uh, 53rd, right? Adimtu, right? Adimtu, which doesn't just mean to listen, but means to pay careful attention, right? P pay, pay careful attention. Mm. If you start to check out some of the dictionaries, which is a daraja, that's a level. The first thing first, right, is to receive of his spirit, to receive of his word, to study and show yourself approved. Because then you'll be able to rightly divide the word of truth. When you hear things or you, you hear one speaking and saying certain things, you, you will recognize whether it's in his word, whether it's in order or it's out of order. You understand? Whether it's in order or it's out of order. So order is the first um, level. And in a Kelim Timherit sense, it would be the color red. So let's recognize the color red. Right, it, it will be that color red, which is the groundation where the three feet of the lion of Judah, you understand, are are dipped in the what? The blood of the enemies. Right, the blood of the enemies. That's what we say to ones everywhere. You understand to repent. You understand. That's why we're so happy that Father had 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 mercy and grace on us. You understand because He shows us these things to um, come. Right, we must be prepared. So the song of um Moses, right? This particular what's known as the song of Moses, which we find um mentioned in um Revelation. So the song of Moses that we find mentioned in Revelation is also contained in this particular chapter. Now those of the Schofield Study Bible, um, we will highly suggest um, and recommend rather than suggest, but recommend even more so that one study this chapter 32, right? Chapter 32, um, which is the whole Torah portion. And then um, one more Sabbath, right? One more Sabbath. Now we have to recognize what's the order of this. Now I know I, I began off speaking about the Mesmur, um, the, 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 the Psalm for the Sabbath. The psalm actually that one should have already chanted from Friday evening, you know, just to keep it in good order, but still any time in, in, in grace and in faith, you understand, um, is 92, the 92nd psalm, which according to Ethiopic, we find um, that it's, um, it's a sabbatical, right? It's a sabbatical psalm, um, Psalm uh, 90, 92, Bamarinya Mesmur, uh, so as a as an outro well actually this will be actually for the day right there's also the psalm for the particular day so we already have like three psalms think about it coming into the sabbath which will be the one that you have as as friday right the friday or for that day but really as we come into the sabbath right then we have the actual beginning of the Sabbath psalm, which would actually be um, Psalm 24, right? And then we have the particular psalm for whatever particular day it is. So this will be the sixth. So let's overstand that right there, the sixth. Now, each of these psalms have um, much, mu it contains much uh, spiritual food. So not to stuff ones, so to speak, right? Um, but let's get a good groundation. The, today's psalm will be the 60th psalm 
the 60th Psalm. You know, that 60th Psalm, something about the perfect woman in, in 60. Perhaps that's because that's the age where, where a, 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 a daughter can become on the level of, um, like when you have the, the, the righteous woman or the holy woman, right, on, on the... On the for the more mature and the older, like that, she she gains that title of mother in that sense. If she has been in the way, the truth, and the life, you understand for a period of time where ones can testify to it. So the the age of sixty, you also find um, scripturally uh, uh, relevant. So I have before me right right here um, Psalm Psalm um, ninety ninety uh, two. Right, Psalm 92. So let's uh, go, go on as an outro, Psalm 92. And um, though a, a psalm for the day regularly to be repeated is Psalm 24. You understand? Then there's also a psalm for the close of the Sabbath. If I'm correct, it's a, a 144. Right? It's, it, it's a Psalm um, 144, which is a beautiful psalm. Right? Um, to to begin the the cycle of um, labors again, right? We pause for the cause, and and Psalm one forty four, which is the Egeziavi Heramlake Yibarek, blessed be the sustainer, Yahweh, my strength, Bamarinya Amlake Elohe or Elohai, right? As some would say, my power, my strength, Bamarinya, my source. Which teacheth my hands to war, le ejoche selfin, and my fingers to fight, le atochim zemechan yemias temur, my goodness and my fortress, my high tower and my deliverer, my shield, and he in whom I trust. You know, for. For a long time, I keep asking myself, why always in these Bibles they have the he there in lowercase? Anyway, um, who subdueth my people under me? Now, that is actually for the close, for the fulfillment. That's like the, like the evening. The, the even psalm among the among Orthodox Judaism, especially the Torah Jews. But then we recognize that in the ancient times, so it was taught to them. If you remember the Babylonian captivity, Yehovah's with that other peoples that were brought into the north, which later became the Samaritans. So many of those things have been kept, and we recognize by study of it in operation is the perfect end of the Shabbat, because it prepares us now. For the warfare of the world, you understand? Um, you know, in the sense that we would have said elsewhere, get money or get the wealth. But we recognize by Torah, what is that for? It's not the love of money. It's the love of the King of Kings and His Christ and the establishment of His kingdom. You understand what I'm saying? So it's not even for 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 our love. Our love is for Him. You understand? Because the Shema tells us that we're to love Him with our complete, our perfect, our perfect heart, right? Our consciousness, right? Um, with our, our perfect soul, right? Our innermost of our inner and our perfect might. You understand? With all that is within us.